Welcome back. As promised, we are still here with our panel talking about keeping marriage fun. We do hope that you're getting value out of this because it, I just think it's so fascinating. And if you need to call someone, if you need to call your husband, your wife to come in and watch with you, you have plenty of time. We still have a half an hour. There's yep. a lot left we have to talk about. We wanted to get into dating your spouse. So who wants to take the lead on that? Explain what it means and how you do it. I'll, I'll take it. Go ahead. <laughs> um, I think dating your spouse is really, really important. Um, I was, when I tell people about keeping marriage fun and the value that my husband and I get out of it, I tell them because a lot of people who end up divorcing, I feel have um, forgotten how to date your spouse. You know what I mean? You get so caught up in the bills, the work, the children, the this, the that, that you forget to do those simple things that you and your mate did to get together. Um, so we try to date each other as often as possible. Um, some of the things that uh, Team Williams <laughs> just to date each other. Um, I'm big on just, you know, simple I love you text messages or I love it when my, I come home and my dinner's cooked for me. <laughs> um, that's a big thing when it comes to dating your spouse. Uh, but it's also, you know, just trying to step out of that comfort zone and go back to saying, hey, I think you're cute. Right. How about I take you out for dinner or would you like to go get some ice cream with me? Just those simple things that you used to do that right. do not happen that often. Right, when you weren't sure if that day they were going to say, yeah, sure. Exactly. I the answer could have been no. Exactly. So it like, could still be no. <laughs> it, it's still the same. <laughs> Jay likes to write on, the, on a piece of paper, you know, will you dance with me in the kitchen? Circle yes or no. <laughs> there are days I circle or, <laughs> but it's all in fun. Right, you know? right. And so how frequently do, you, do the couples get together? Oof. We try to do something at least like once every few months, like mm -hmm. something big we try to do. I know um, the crazy thing about the group is you meet so many new people mm -hmm. that it's kind of like everybody becomes family. We have a hashtag. Our newest hashtag is one family. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we're like, even though everybody's far apart, we're one family. Mm -hmm. We're KMF. We keep it fun. And... Um, so a lot of people, they get together on their own, you mm -hmm. know, like you've met someone new, mm -hmm. like we didn't know each other and now we're like sisters, you mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. So you meet these new people and you're able to go on date nights with them, mm -hmm. even if it's not with the whole oh, group. Oh, right, right, right. okay. Mm -hmm. So you're able to do things like that. Like last night at our house, um, Jay had a couple of the KMF Kings come on over to play spades. So, you know, the guys got together and we met quite a few different yeah. other husbands and they, form their own little, you know, spades tournament group thing. And, you know, that's a night out for the king just to kind of debrief, get together, and hang out. We're going to touch more on that unless you're going to, Jay? Yeah, like, um, I've noticed even with us six who are here, it's it's not even about getting together in mm -hmm. person sometimes. Mm -hmm. um, with the hashtag one family, when something happens to one of us, it happens to all mm -hmm. of us. Mm -hmm. and. When push comes to shove, we're pushing. We're not shoving. We we right there for each other, helping each other out no matter what it is. Um, it's just it's, it's 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 a family. Like that one family hashtag to us, I think means more than what you would ever expect from a bunch of people who didn't know each other two years ago. Mm -hmm. um, like for instance, we just lost a sister, mm -hmm. yeah. and the outpouring from just KMF as a whole mm -hmm. was heart heart just blessing and and just so much love it was you know and, it, and everybody took it so personal like that was their sibling or what have you and you right. know it's never seen anything like it you know what I mean that's just uh, that's all it's, it's just the best thing ever happened and it has only been two years mm -hmm. that the organization has been together so the growth is kind of astounding yeah um, but you were talking about husband slash kings getting together. Mm -hmm. We talked about that a little in the green room. Can we expand on that a little bit, the, the separation of the couples and getting together? Yeah, uh, obviously, you know, the females are the queens and <laughs> the males are the kings. And uh, we have the main page on Facebook, which is, of course, Keeping Marriage Fun. And we also have two separate pages for the queens and the kings. You know, so on the KMF, page as a whole everybody can put out general questions that relate to everybody you know but on the kings you know you may be struggling with something or dealing with something with you know your counterpart and you know you just don't feel comfortable putting it out there you know so you may post it in the kings group or the queens group right. just to get some feedback because you know the truth is everything in marriage isn't fun right. you know but 
it is important that you rely on your support system, whether it's the king, the queens, or get the overall feedback from the group right. that, uh, you know, it's important to have that just so you can be reminded that, okay, you're doing something good mm -hmm. or, you know, you really might be off your rockers, right. you know, on yeah. this, you know, mm -hmm. so. Uh, <laughs> it, oh, and they're it, very honest. A very when honest. they give feedback, very honest. Yeah. it's very open mm -hmm. and very honest feedback, which mm -hmm. is important because, right. it really you know, is. you don't want anybody just sugarcoating. Yeah. Right. Be the truth mm -hmm. yeah. so you can be better. Because right? if it's not the truth, then it truly isn't feedback. They're just feeding you something. Right. You know, something. it's not feedback. Right. I, that's not what I would call mm -hmm. it. But um, also, the 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 organization, the group seems to be very well organized, right. and it seems to be organized in a way for it to succeed. You know, mm -hmm. um, and I'm just saying that as as a listener and 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 learning about the organization, you guys are able to break it down. So no wonder you're growing. <laughs> no wonder it's attractive to other couples. You know, I mean, it definitely took some time when Ibn and I when we started the group. You know, you you learn things and you make mistakes and you're like, okay, maybe we shouldn't do it that way. We'll right. do it this way. You know, and we get a lot, all the couples are involved. It's not just, mm -hmm. you know, Ibn and Stephanie's group. It right. is keeping marriage fun. Everyone's involved. We ask for feedback all the time it's from wonderful. the couples. Wonderful. And they give us feedback. Absolutely. <laughs> and which is important. We yeah. want to know, you know, what do you like? What don't you like? What can we do better? Yeah. You know, what do you guys want more of? Right. So we're working on retreats and you know different things like that, so we can all you know get together. Yeah, I, I, as as you guys were talking, I got a text from one of our viewers. They oh, are you? tuned in tonight, and I just want to give a shout out to Carm Fitzgerald, my friend, my family, and you know, just a, a fan of the program. She's taking in all this good information tonight. So oh, happy holiday, Carm. Stay tuned. <laughs> you know. Um, so we wanted to give you guys a chance to just open it up right now for anything that we haven't covered yet. Yeah. Oh. Well, yeah. okay, I had a question. Oh, okay. <laughs> can I, can ahead. I, can nope, I go ahead. All right. Go ahead, yeah. In addition to the event that you had in November with the, um, the ball, the or ball. The, yeah, mm -hmm. do you have other things planned? Because I happen to know a few of you guys personally, and I know that you're very talented. So I was just curious. Oh, see? Uh -oh. I was just he curious will, if you guys help. were going to be able to put together oh. maybe uh, some sort of gala he's uh, not gonna let you off the entertainment hook, so he's extravaganza to. you know <laughs> you feel me yeah. okay. we we are planning a retreat uh, okay. like a weekend getaway for the couples okay um so we can kind of talk mm -hmm. and have fun mm -hmm play games we love challenges yeah yes. I was gonna say one challenges. of the things we, we could have, talk about are we have physical keeping challenges. marriage fun challenges yes. okay and it's just like um little things where it's like you know we'll post especially um, a big thing that we used to do was like yoga poses mm -hmm. couple yoga poses mm -hmm. and we would post the picture of the yoga pose and, and every couple had to do it and <laughs> it, it would be our kids taking the picture so right, right. imagine how they would come yeah. but we would have to recreate the pose as a couple and it was just teamwork working right. together with your spouse doing something fun yeah. some of them would be successful <laughs> some, some people would end up on the floor and that would be their picture but it worked it was just you know right. something different and right. fun mm -hmm. fun yeah. Um, is there any room for couples who have not yet married but are officially engaged? Or do you need to be married in order to become a part of the organization? <laughs> that is a great question. And that is something that we've been going back and forth with for probably the last six to 12 months. Okay. Because uh, some people have set the date and you know they're saying like listen we need some support asap then there are some that just it, they plan on getting married but they just don't have a clue when mm -hmm. you know and so one of the things that we've decided to do is just to keep it for those that are already married okay um only due to the couples that are already married we right. share so much stuff right. yeah mm -hmm. and so you know it's it's kind of like yeah. uh I'm not going to say a secret society, <laughs> okay. you know, but, but, you know, it is impossible for, you know, you can be a boyfriend or girlfriend or a fiance or whatever, you know, but it's just some things that you just, you don't experience in, unless you're married, mm -hmm. you know, uh, yep, and so, right. So we don't want to share something uh, in the, in our marriage that we're going through and they're not there yet. Okay. And 
it discourages them in their process. Right. Gotcha. Yeah. You, you know, so because, you know, everything's still cute, you know, when your boyfriend, girlfriend, mm -hmm. you you know, you're newly engaged <laughs> and, you know, um, but, you know, what, what happens when, you know, that your, your mate finally passes gas in front of you, you know, <laughs> like, how do you respond then? Good you know, so, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you know, so, so those are the things that, you know, uh, that come up, you right. know, and that's called keeping it real, right? But but just to piggyback on that, you know, just to tell you the truth, like everything isn't always fun within the group. You know why? Because we grew up a different way. People, you know, uh, they they know what a successful marriage looks like. Mm -hmm. You know, um, me and my wife, we don't. You know, so right, right. you know, it it is just you know trial and error. That's you know, so a lot of times, you know, we agree to disagree on some some subjects, yeah. whether it's, it is uh, breastfeeding in public or, you know, uh, uh, this couple talking about their sex life, you know, or whatever the case may be. It is certain things that cer certain couples are comfortable with and sharing. Mm -hmm. And, you know, one thing that I always uh, talk about is being transparent. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I don't want somebody that's in the group just to to, to keep taking and taking, right. but never offering anything to the group, mm -hmm. you know? So, uh, you know, uh, our, us three couples here, along with, you know, hundreds of others, you know, they've been very transparent mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, it's, the group has been a blessing to them. Yeah, it's like, um, I don't mean to borrow a line from a movie, but it's like a circle of trust. Mm -hmm. yeah. Is that absolutely? It is. It is. Uh, Meet the Fockers. Yeah, Fockers. exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But that's, that's what came to mind, you know?